So these are all of the um, pieces that I need in order to make my DIY wardrobe, hanging wardrobe. <laughs> So now I'm just folding the leather in half so that I can have two even leather strips. So now I take one of the strips and fold it in half and just measure that out, make sure that's looking right. Next up I'm grabbing my leather hole punchers and I'm just trying to figure out the right hole with to use for the screw. So I just fold one of the straps in half and then I take the wooden spool and then I put the screw inside so that I can mark exactly where I want the hole. Again, eyeballing, no measuring. Just, I just lined the top of the spool to the top of the two leather strips. Now I'm taking the leather puncher and just punching a hole where I just marked it. And uh, seeing that I folded this in half, um, it takes a lot of elbow grease so you really have to use your uh, all of the strength that you have. So now I have two perfect holes. Now I'm just testing to see if this is the right hole size, just screwing the screw through the two holes. And sure enough, it's too darn small. Ah. <laughs> uh, so now I'm just going to go in and uh, re-punch those holes with a bigger um, width on the hole puncher. You want to make sure if you are repunching a hole that you're centering this the new punch on top of that circle. You don't want to be too far to the left or too far to the right, then you're going to get a lopsided circle. So definitely be a little bit more precise with that second hole. So yeah, that hole size was perfect. So now I'm just screwing in the screws so that I can move on to the next step, which is screwing this into the wall. So now I'm just measuring where to put the clothing rod on the wall. So the clothing rod itself with the end caps measures about 25 inches. And this space in between the molding on my wall is 28. So I know I have five inches to work with. So I know that I need to measure uh, two and a half inches off of each side. And I decided that it should be at a height of 60 inches tall. So now I'm just marking that on the walls on both sides. So I am pre-drilling the holes, if you will, but instead of using a screwdriver, I am just using a nail and a hammer. So it's a great way of uh, getting a hole in a wall so that you can later screw into that hole. Oh, and make sure you have the right technique when you are hammering. Unlike me, I always start off wrong and then I correct myself midway through. So now I'm just taking those straps with the screw already in it, as well as with the wooden spool attached so that I can screw it into those pre-screwed holes. <laughs> this is my uh, trusty cap. I wear this cap all the time, especially when I'm doing some DIY or doing anything around the house moving. It just makes me feel like a handyman. So I have my cool chambray shirt on and my cap and I can conquer the world. So now I had to bring out the big guns and bring out the electric screwdriver because I was having a hard time screwing those in by hand. So it's just pushing those end caps on to the rod. And now I've slipped the rod through the um, leather straps and it's a perfect fit. Now it's just some time for styling and putting the rack to um, the test. I bought these really cool hangers from the container store so I'm really excited to use them. 
So here it is, the end result, my DIY hanging clothing rack or hanging wardrobe or wardrobe bar, whatever you want to call it. I'm using leather straps and a copper pipe.